lots of bad and bougie this morning on Mzansi Insider. Gashle, gashle, what's happening with pirates? A super fan lets us know. Ever wondered how much these celebrity fashion statements cost? Fifi Cooper has ambitious plans now that she's independent. And y'all were never ready for the coolest performance ever to rock Mzansi Insider. It's Rory 2 Bars. <laughs> will be giving away five double tickets to the 16th Metro FM Awards happening tonight. Social issues, they so easily Giving you the latest news so instantly Gender we tied up Keep the channel locked on who's on the inside they say money change people, or maybe people change for money. Maybe you hustle to a point that you sleep in the streets, or maybe no, you forget where you're from because you're the king of the streets. <laughs> I don't know. But everything doesn't really have to be about money. Now. Nah. I think we really need to talk about the power of God. What I knew all along was the power of God. Now what they talk about is the power of God. The power of God. We need to keep praying hard. And there's only one God. Believe it and receive it, buddy, when your time comes. I'll catch up and take you on the air and run the prostitute is dead, she's an end up being sick. But what to Sana Makasana is no longer sick. The baby mama after Zaga then abuse kids. The text the driver down to Lana every single day. There's people walking every day, but that's all in it. I kinda understand we all wanna be rich. But Ruthie Bama got all over the country. So because of Zaga, we no longer live in peace. Now I know what they say, man is evil. I'm thinking that it could be some kind of demon they can take over your life, man. Cause you got a million. They would never think about how you made a million. Hey. I think we really need to talk about the power of God. What I know all along was the power of God. Hey, now all they talk about is the power of God. It's the power of God. It's the power of God. <laughs> the power of God. Okay. But now, hey. I can't sign no more, it doesn't mean It doesn't mean I can't go on Matter of fact, it means that I get broke no more And for the rules, man, I ain't got a lot no more Now how you, now how you sip on 16 years old Just cover that cause of you, man, release that dose Juice, I can't even see that dope Now put the trigger, man, for you, I be ready to go Man, I'm somebody's mother, man, somebody's sister, yeah I don't know what your mother would you like that I don't just tell her come around, what are the white Shame is just funny, how money can't buy me you can't buy I me. Think we really need to talk Except about the power of God. Hey, now what I know all along was the power of God. Uh, hey, what? Now what they talk about is the power of God. What? What? The power of God. Hey, the power of God. That's what they talk about. Hey, the power of God. That's what they talk about. It ain't about the money. Money. Mark, no Mark Cooper records, baby. The whole time, Mark Cooper, first lady, forever, ever, 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 yeah. ever. Woo! -hoo. Power Let the games God. begin, ladies and gentlemen. Fifi Cooper blazing up our stage. You definitely want to stick around for that one. We're gonna be chatting to her a little bit later. Not gonna cover with drama icon. Good morning. To all of you there at home, and good morning to you. Good morning, yes, indeed. I'm Zanti Insider is on lock, and we're ready to get the show up and rolling. The earring is sabotaging my life, but nonetheless, it's not about me or the earring. It's about all the things that we have in store for you guys. That's in La Cajeno. Now, how much do we know? Already gifts it and say the celebrity take lands on and like the custom guy. Yeah, absolutely. We speak about that a little bit later. And we have an official Orlando Pirates super fan yep. here to let us know about the club from 
a fan's perspective. Hopefully, I got shy. Mm -hmm. And as you saw, she opened it up for us. Fifi Cooper, what does life look like without ambitious? Rwalena, a little bit later on, her plans, her new record label. You need to stick around for this heart to heart that we're going to be having with her. That's right. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe you're keeping a straight face because we close it off with a very special performance from Rory Two Bars. Yo, that's what's up. I am her hype man, major yes. key alert. But as protocol, it's time for us to check out today's headlines. Do it! Bio rock social media with her snaps. The sexy and uber stylish queen of bling was doing a shoot for Pravida magazine. And oh, did we also mention that Mbao is starring in a thriller movie? Her character gets kicked out onto the streets and into the dark world of human trafficking. Slave, 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 slave. No, you know what? I, I what? can definitely say um, it is a guarantee that when it comes to acting, and posing for photo shoots, yeah. Kanyan Brow will bring it. I'm looking forward to this thriller. Uh, she's playing quite a hectic character. Uh, like you're saying, acting, we've seen her do it before, so it will be interesting to see her in a completely different... Because she always plays like cute characters. I've never seen her hardcore. So it'll be interesting to see this one. Next story. So this is not a real thing. So our producers have been getting messages from cruise people telling us about some beef between them and MT. We really didn't want to entertain it, but it seems things have gotten lit. So it's all about a verse MT did five years ago on Cruise's song. This was, of course, before he was famous. MT tweeted this. Cruise people suggested a boxing match, then both laid charges against each other. Ah, Chris Brown and Soldier Boy much. <clears throat> first things first, who's Cruz? Next story, Cruz. This one's for everyone in the hood. Social media was buzzing with awkward goals like this pic of Ricky Rick, Casper, and some guy chilling on their million rand wheels. But this awkward gram got us feeling a little outside. Can we say squad goals? The power circle consisted of Cesar Domo, Anelem Dorda, and Trevor Noah, and some of the guys that we don't really know, having fun and chilling out in LA. Hashtag show me your and I'll show you my <laughs> <laughs> so the question I want to know, who are we adding to our squad? Wait, no, we need to start. Like, we need somebody in Tanesh. Cool. That's me, of course. And then, like, Anne. We need somebody who's always slaying and boss. That's me, obviously. So you're the Anele and I'm the Trevor Rex on, of Rex the on, squad. Rex. Yeah. Who else do we need? I'm just okay with being the Trevor of the squad. <laughs> <laughs> Next story, guys. We're out here trying to be Beyonce. Check this out. <laughs> After everyone went crazy that they have their Coachella tickets to witness the Queen be herself, weeks later, boom, she posted her pregnancy pictures on the net. So Beyonce is not performing at this year's Coachella. Yo, that time, the only reason why you bought the tickets was to see the Queen. Fans are selling their tickets and the prices have gone down. Talk about a headline. We'll be gone night. Oh, ah, get, 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 get. <laughs> <laughs> I won't drop you, jeez. So I, I, I already called it. Beyonce was not going to do Coachella already. Oh, but man. And twins are not a joke. It doesn't no. matter if you're Beyonce of Destiny's Pregnancy Child. Pregnancy as a You can't period. be Beyonce of life. Yeah, no. Life but shout out to thing. her for bringing two babies into the earth. We wait with breath to breath for these two ones. And all you Coachella people, have fun, guys. No, it's cheaper now. It's even better, but it's... And you gave away your tickets, right? I threw them away. Levels, guys. Hot of social media. <laughs>
I want to be his squad. You want to be his squad. And he can be the Trevor of, well, he can be the Ricky of the squad. Yeah, anyway. no, he can just stay Ricky. Joining the conversation on social media, we want to hear what your thoughts are. And joining us in studio, Ke Andile uh, Matobela. And uh, he's no stranger here to our family. So we're going to be talking. Andile. Today. So, a lot uh, of things. I think we picked three that we're going to be looking at. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Mini Tamini makes uh, the cover of Kickoff. Yeah. A lot of people upset. Uh, and question is, guys, I don't know if you guys saw this picture. Is it actually Mini Tamini at the NBA All-Stars? Like Rose behind Beyonce. Like maybe like if she said Beyonce, Beyonce would hear her and go, hey, <laughs> Mini. How, how do you feel about this one, Andile? Uh, first female on mm -hmm. Kickoff. I mean, I'm sure now we hate. No, look, I'm I'm very happy that Kickoff is finally putting a woman, you know, on, on their cover. I'm just not so sure, sure about Mini as you know they could have put, you know, Ke your Carol Manana, for example, because Why? you know, because she's more in you know, she's the one who has really been pushing like sports, mm. you know, for the longest time, representing women out there. It's and not a lifetime achievement award. Yeah, yeah. It's about what's happening right now, the cover of it. Yeah, look, um, First of all, the cover, you know, because kickoff, they used to, you know, putting guys who are sweaty there. They don't know how to put a woman on the cover. The picture is terrible. It's pixelated. The makeup, the touch-up is, you know, you can barely recognize Mini there. But, you know, I think it's a good thing that kickoff is finally giving, you know, you know, females a point, you know, putting them on. I'm just not so sure about Mini being, I think it should have been Carol Manana because people have been complaining that media is not showing love to females in sports. Um, can you show love to some slayers? Can you put me on the cover of Zikipani magazine? Yeah, Let's sure. Let's start there. And the picture cannot be pixelated. <laughs> oh, the makeup must be. I think her makeup is not that bad. That red jacket is what I have a problem with. But yo, man, shout out to Mini for making it on the cover. Shout out for her for, yeah. you know, doing some proper things in the sporting world. Yeah. All yeah. right. So, um, uh, also, there's uh, the AKA situation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, AKA <laughs> released a song, Kaifas. Yes. Yeah. And apparently, Bob Kaifas Minya hasn't heard the song. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. But I, I, don't, I don't think that's true, though, because they have to obviously get the... No, the, you can the, clear the, the song, but yeah. I don't have to hear the song. Yeah. 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 Well, that's, that's sad if you didn't yeah. hear the have song. Have you heard the track? Yeah. What do you think of it? I think the song for me sounds too much like The World Is Yours. I'm talking in terms of like the sound, you know. Production-wise. Yeah, they were being safe. But people love the song. I think it's an okay song. I actually kind of like it. Actually, yeah. you can't ask me about AKA because I'm a super, super mega fan. So I yeah. think the song is hella. We're going to hear it. I'm sure to get super mega, no? Yeah. Queen B. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, and, and the whole PR stunt, I think that was genius. You know, him and Bonang, you know, he tweeted that he broke up with Bonang. Genius? Yeah. Like, yeah. like ge genius. Like, I think oh it was, I don't, my I think, God, revolutionary on. genius. We've seen it, 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 those stunts before. It wasn't new, but in, in South Africa, though, I mean, we've seen it with, like, you know, the likes of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Let's stop with this in South Africa stuff. But, you know, like, nobody's brave enough to do that. I mean, our local celebs don't even want to talk about their relationships. You know, he was like, yo, I just broke up with Bonang. But we all, like, like, you know, we were questioning it, we were like, yo. But he said he got us fooled, and that's not true, because from the first moment he posted that, we are like, nah, fam, bye. I think fooled is the wrong word, but they achieved the, the PR stunt because people, we paid attention yeah. to the whole thing. Yeah. So, you know, and then a couple uh, of days later, tired. dropped the song. Next yeah. story. It's because you like it. <laughs> Ricky. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Ricky. I just want to say, you know, I'm very, I'm very proud of Ricky Rick, you know, because he's one guy that, you know, ever since he changed his ways and stopped doing drugs and, you know, he focused on his energies and oh, what he wow. wants to portray in the world, you yeah. know, and Ricky Rick has always been a guy who's all about style, who's all about swag, and he's always been a Gucci fan. And, you know, for Gucci to actually reach out to him and say, look, man, come through, you know, because he did say 2016 is the year of the Codini, and then he started just stunting on us with Gucci and he's yeah. like been pushing Gucci. He never I lied. Think, I, th I think it's, a, it's an example that if you do something that you love, you know, eventually, you know, you, you, yeah, your dreams will come true. So, so yeah. my balance always worked. Yeah. I think he did this one on his own. I, I think yeah. Mabala is still in there. Ah, so just a tad bit. <laughs> just yeah. I think it's just the universe, you know, once you put out yourself to the world, the universe responds and like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Angela, for joining us. That's fantastic. Those are coming. Yeah. A couple of the stories that uh, made a break on social media. Great mm. to unpack them. But right now, it is time for us to give away some tickets to the Metro FM Awards that are, are you happening going to be there? tonight. Rory is going to be there. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to be sitting at home watching them on TV. Hey, Cola. Hello. Hello, Kate. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Cold. Thank you. How are you? 
I'm good. Hi, Rory. I can't pronounce your name. You can't pronounce my name. It's fine, baby. What's yeah. your name? <laughs> Well, we need your name so we can double check that you are the winner. What's Come your on. name? Nam Zamo. Yeah. Nam Zamo. Well, well done. You've won yourself tickets to the Metro FM Awards. You can go party with all your favorite celebs. Have a do. Yes. And when you see Thank me, please you. learn my name, Nam Zamo. Oh, I would be mad. I see Bye, love. Congratulations <laughs> to you. Uh, that was Nam Zamo. And you? Um, you know, could be a winner just as easy as that. So what we did is we put up videos and we asked you in the different categories, who do you think would walk away uh, with the award? And that's it, actually. We're Absolutely. That cool. And really? all you have to do is comment and tell us who you think is going to take it. And we could be calling you live right here on Mzanti Insider right now, though it is time for us to take a quick ad break. We come back with a whole lot of madness after these. I mean, Rory, two bars, guys. Real. <laughs> After the ad break, we hang out with Fifi Cooper. We also speak hashtag xenophobia and behind the story. And later, Rory Two Bars closes with a hot rap performance. Y'all were never ready. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Welcome back. Zodu zulu runa mo na homesadzi insider only on SABC One. Jole kamera di raid sasa na ndi area sasa na mbao rev Zetenville kapa yana hair jamestin. Mo di tutu fati ilindi hotspots kapa zona hair human trafficking rings were raided and foreign citizens have been a major talking point. A few days ago, leading to yesterday, we saw violent clashes kwa na kupitoria of foreign nationals by South Africans. Yes. Now this is frightening. So we have two young South African insiders who come to the country to study and work. We have Neto Kapalata from Tanzania, who is a mining engineer, and we have Takondwa Mwasi from Malawi, and she is a master's politics student from WITS. They need to break it down for us, what life is like for them, Konala Mzadzi. Welcome, guys. Thanks for having Thank you. Now, first things first, let's, let's speak about how the general feeling and emotion, because I, I, I bet you weren't directly attacked but it's something that you know as a South African living in the country that other South Africans are up against our foreign immigrants. Tell me, tell me about how you feel about it. I think it has got an adverse effect on the diplomatic side and political side and economic side. Most mm. of us, we come here and seek for the greener pastures or in other way to to study or to work and maybe deliver what we are expected to do. Mm. So in my view, this attack, it has sent a wrong message in other areas in Africa and in the world. And we get frequent phone calls, messages, what is going on? How are you? Are you safe? So people outside South Africa, they think maybe it is not a safer living place. Mm. And for me, because I've never been attacked, and maybe where I stay, I see I'm safe, I'm around people that they don't even talk about xenophobia. Mm. But as a Secretary General for the Tanzania Diaspora Council, I've got people around the country and people who I have to represent and I have to talk about back home, and of which it gives me some sort of the nightmare to gather information and being reached by people wanting to know what is going on what can i present to the embassy of tanzania what can i tell people at home etc mm. so yeah tiki i want to come to you um i'm going to take it to basics you hang in with your girls you guys are chilling what's the conversations you obviously have south african fr friends and maybe other friends who don't who are not south african nationals what's what's the spirit like what's the vibe like right now uh, luckily enough, I feel like within academic communities or within the academic community, everybody is very embracing and has always been within South Africa. And so it's always unfortunate because South Africa has always presented itself as this beacon in Africa that is diverse, you know, this rainbow nation that is welcoming of all. And then you see these horrific attacks and you wonder what's going on, what can we do about this, mm. you know? Yeah. And you, uh, you were speaking about before you came to South Africa and how you saw it, right? Now, when you made the decision to come here and study, what exactly was your expectation? What did you know of the country? 
Well, I knew that, like I said, it's the beacon of Africa. Yeah. You know, South Africa has always been considered the most powerful economy in Africa, you know. In terms of me coming to study here, that's where you get that exposure, that's where you get that international recognition. Yeah. And so you look at it as, okay, you know, there's this country that has faced this past, and so they move forward from that, and they're willing to welcome anybody who wants to come in to try and better themselves, you know. So I really saw it as a society that would be wholly embracing of me, but not necessarily been the case, you know. Mm. Is this the very first time you guys are experiencing like this sort of energy with xenophobic attacks in this country? Not really. Mm. In 2015, we had something which is bigger than this one. Yeah. I think this one is not very big as compared to the one on 2015. Well, we but, you know, we have medias around. We have got media coverage. And sometimes people post on social media things that happened in 2015 and not necessarily things that we see now. I don't think if this one is bigger, but the spread of information exaggerates it to be bigger. Mm. They, they're wanting to know of people outside South Africa make, makes it bigger. The, the, the posts we see, some of the posts are of 2015. Yeah. Within the foreigners community, most of us, we can validate and say, no, this is the news of 2015, yeah. mm. and we want something that has happened now. Yeah. So in real sense... So somebody's doing a spin-off of it now. It's now a spin-off. Yes, I will say that. But at the end of the day, it is something that has happened anyway. Mm. So something needs to be done. I want to ask you this. Um, have you guys traveled to other uh, African countries? And if so, what is the treatment like there? You know, are, is South Africa different in terms of behavior or how they relate with foreign nationals as compared to other African countries? Yeah, I, I would one? hate to say that the sentiment is completely different. Other African countries are always very embracing for anybody who wants to migrate, you know, anybody who wants to assist their own economies. And so you find it almost like a little bit hypocritical that South Africa wants to be this powerhouse in Africa and yet they're denying that opportunity by saying, no, don't come work here, you know, don't come study here. But it's to your benefit, you know. Mm. We're not benefiting our own economies by studying here, by working here. Mm. We're doing it for this country. And so it's unfortunate when people say, no, we don't want them to work. But then South Africans themselves are failing to pick up those jobs that we're doing. Absolutely. You yeah. know? Yeah. yeah. Neta, you've been in this country for a while and you've worked across the country. Do you have a fear of being attacked because you're a foreigner? Not really, because maybe with the people I'm associating with, mm. where I work, but I'll give you a good example. I work for a mining entity. I am a, I am a president and CEO of this entity. We work in Red Bank, we work close to the locations. Mm. I th for, in my view, I will take this that people in South Africa, especially the young ones, mm. they are demanding for economic power. Mm. So the economic power is putting them in, a, in, in an area where what do we see our government is doing? I'm looking at it in the other angle and say, is it people they think, is it about service delivery from the government? Mm. Is it about we don't get the opportunities? Mm. Is it about the parental guardianship? Is it about our history? So if you look at it in a, in, in, in a broader picture, you will come to understand that the, the, this really is, is, is a war in demanding for economic power. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I will tell you, most of the young South Africans, they have been going out and they have been vocal on, on social corporate responsibility by big companies. We have got big foreign investment in this country. I think what we see the levels of unemployment, mm. the level at which the young South Africans and South Africans in general, they, 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 they expose to opportunity, is a bit low. Uh, why am I saying this? I'm saying this that uh, South Africa is a, is a major economy. I think there are things that have been put in place by the government to exercise and put the South Africans there to tackle this opportunity. I don't think if it is enough or it is not enough, but I think the government need to deploy a Satan or a a Satan council that will deal with this issue. Mm. And I think there should be a report that can go, go to African Union, it can go to the other yeah. organizations, and at least we will be able to know the core 
issue. Where, where, why does yeah. this thing coming from? Yeah. And, and, and how can we stop it? How can we el eliminate it? So it is not something that we can eliminate it in a day. Yeah. There should be a work that needs to be done on this. Mm. I yes. think, you wanted to add yeah, something. Yeah, I think in addition to what he said, what's important to note is here is that this is not a new occurrence in South Africa. We saw this as early as 2008 with those massacres that we saw on TV. Yeah. And what's unfortunate is the government has not really come forward to say this is a stand of action that we are going to take to try and like curb these perceptions. Instead, you have things like the president come along and say, no, this march that just happened is against criminality. Mm. I mean, is the assumption then that South Africans are not involved in criminal activities? Mm. You know, mm. the government hasn't really come out outright and said, this is what we're going to do, this is how we're going to tackle it. And so you see resurgences. Yes, I admit it may be a response to something that is bigger than just foreigners existing here, you know. People are unhappy with their government and they look for avenues to take Absolutely. it out on, you know, my yeah. I Africa. think it's more of yeah. a working class uh, people's yes. problem because yes. they haven't gotten the service that they've been promised yeah. Yeah. would mm -hmm. be delivered to them. And, and it this seems is their backlash. as though yes. Yes. somebody and else has exactly. got Exactly, yes. And if you see in the locations, what the South Africans see, there is an Ethiopian or a Somalian Absolutely. in with shop. the business. Yeah. So yes. that will be a starting point to say, yes, our jobs, our business are being taken by these guys. Yeah. I will say that some of these foreigners that have, are running businesses in the locations, I don't say that they expose themselves to these attacks, but there will be a first point to see maybe their lifestyle, maybe Absolutely. they are They're making in the money line every day, it's and they are on the them. line of fire. Absolutely. Yeah. So at the end of the day, as African people coming to work, start or do business in South Africa, we, meet, we must take precautionary measures Definitely to say, take measures. are we Sorry, safe Neto, everywhere we are? <laughs> <laughs> right there. Live television, we have a caller on the line. We're making somebody happy. Hello, caller. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 oh, yo, 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 What's, yo. What's your name? <laughs> I'm fine, man. How are you, guys? Uh, we're fantastic. We're good. Are we speaking to Viola, too? Yes, you're speaking to Violet. We need to double check South these Africa names. Because Township doesn't turn Friday. Come on, there, somebody. <laughs> we are, you just gave me live. Can I give yes. you live? We're about to give you uh, double tickets to the 16th Annual Metro FM Awards. No, 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 my God, yeah. Man, Come on, now, somebody. Alive, man. Thank you, Zanzi, inside. Oh, it's da, an da, absolute da. pleasure, Vuyo. Thank you so much for entering the competition. You two at home could be taking away some tickets to the Metro yep. FM Awards. Right now, though, it is time for us to take a quick ad break. We'll be back. Uh, point of order. Next, Orlando Pirates super fan on life as a Pirates fan, giving the team's recent performances or lack of. How much do celebrities spend on their goods? Later, Rory Two Bars. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Welcome back. If you're joining us, uh, we're talking sports right about now. We're doing it with a bit of a twist today. Uh, so they've been in the news, but we're going to talk about not over my hair. Not I want to hear that about some of the corona, but it's okay. We're here to lighten up the situation, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to speak to a super fan, a pirates. Um, team is in the building. Put your hands together. Usually, as this is a baby powder. You baby powder, Are you serious? Yes, that's some smelling coat. You can smell. Oh my god, it is baby powder. You know what I thought? I thought it was face paint. No, 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 it's a baby powder. It's a baby powder. I'm smelling like this. That's why every time when you see me on TV, the ladies are next to me because I'm smelling good because of the baby powder. Okay, must must tell you, Kamale coach. Yeah, yes. How do we say this name? Silly Soranjan. Okay, that's a nice question. Hmm. Shell Genovrain. Shell Genovrain. And, and you must be careful, ne? Yeah. That shell is not the shell Karash. Yeah. Is, the spelling is K J E double L. So it's a silent K. Yes. Shell. Because you know, in, in Orlando Pirate, we, we used to have coaches with the hard names Michelle Autogral, Eric Pintra, Roger Dissa. This one, you must be slow when you call his name. 
Shell General Ray. That's why we're going to beat teams from today with uh, Pulukwane City. We're going to beat them very slow. Yeah. Because our coach is a smooth talker. Speaking you about. Saw, you saw him. You saw teams. him, yeah. yeah. Six not though. Six. Are you sure, guys? You asked me this now. Six. No, no, no. We show. Kila loe nantat. Yes. Samba soy two. Yeah. So she had soy two. Yeah. Smell is cool. Oh, are you a pirate fan? Yeah. Thank you very much. Get along. Oh. Nice. So I can feel you that you are the case of your friend. Can feel you. Don't do the sign. I can feel you. Don't do the sign. We can feel you. So I could have gone back and now I've created a nice one. When I got there, I'm kitchy. Ah, you see, it's very. I will come now. I'm not back and now because. There's no golf six anymore. It's golf pirate. Mm -hmm. And even they said the kids at school, when they count, they go like one, two, three, four, four five, five, pirate, pirates. seven. <laughs> and they even transfer it to, to Zulu now. But Gunye, Gubili, Kutatu, Gune, Gushanu, Kupagania, it's called this. So now, but uh, uh, we, we, we understand this. Even people, when they go to the shop now for uh, to buy the eggs, they go say, no, give me six pirates. We understand that, but yeah. I want to tell you, yeah. we're going to bounce back. And, and Hard, even. I want to hear from you. It's always good to be optimistic. Mara when I'm going to buy the game, we have a boy who's going to as Vuga and Akren. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what, you have to understand uh, 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 something here. In, in football, there's three things. There's a win, there's a draw, and there's a lose. Mm. And there's, that's why there's, there's, you have season, different season. Mm. Because I can see the, uh, this season is not for Pirates. Mm. Uh, mm. But what we want, we want to end up on top three. Yeah. You see, so that we can play uh, 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 top eight. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, but what I, I want, what, what I want to tell you is, you must be careful now. Mm. If Orlando Pirates start to win, Baba Stata Yonkind, we take a inquest. Yes. You remember uh, with the uh, Rudy Crawl, with, with, with the tribbles. And remember, many people they are asking the question on my social uh, uh, media accounts and kitchen, yeah. but we don't know the coach. We don't know the coach. Where did the coach come um, from? Remember uh, uh, Rudy Crawl, no one knew. Yes. Rudy Crawl, who was Rudy Crawl? But he checked the, tri uh, the tribbles. And that's why I'm saying we're gonna give this head coach, we're gonna give a shell channel of rain a chance. <laughs> chance to do his thing. He must relax. He yeah. must relax because with uh, with Rudy Crawl, we lose two seasons. The third one will take everything. Yeah. Okay. And thanks to my chairman, Dr. Ivan Koza, to give this coach three years. So from, he yeah. must not be scared. Uh, we are you, you some you me from one Pagania to another. Why is Moshama Stadium? Why why is Silo a man? What remember, kind of behavior is that? Are you sure remember having Buzo Ilumud? Are you sure we were asking me this? Because he's so angry, Glenn. Don't forget, he must feel the pain. Yeah, but I need to. Yeah, he feel the pain, but I need to make less than Moshi. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in that, because I knew that you were gonna uh, pop up this question of Loftus. You know, um, Abeka Balandi la bawa zukbegen zela jenga Balandi be Orlando Pirates Football Club. Remember. We go to Mombela, Super Sport beat us. Yeah. Six. We didn't go to the pitch, we didn't fight. So they say, okay, it's, it's not okay. an option, Mkiti. Okay, no, wait, wait. Then we go to, 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 to Loftus, and then we saw the same story again. So I was not in the pitch, but I think those supporters who enter in that stadium, they were so very angry. Mm. If you can see, they, they score one goal, they didn't come in. Two, three, four. Five, six. You know why they entered the stadium on the six? Because they wanted to stop goal number seven for themselves. Yeah. Because we use, no, we, 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 because we, <laughs> we, we, we used to six goals. So now we say, guys, this number is seven minimum. is coming. Let's get to the side now. I wanted to ourselves. christen him Kichimi because I think Maglatle <laughs> langale check it down. Black and white. Yeah, when am I so he pirates a mom ela baba? But this is super but, but why? But why are you wearing a, 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 a black jacket? But you are a Kosi fan. No, because Kosi also has Kosi. black. Nonetheless, we have a call All on right. the line, Kitchen. We're about to make somebody's <laughs> dreams come true. Speaking about black okay. and white, make sure your friend is black and white. Right? Yes, Bye. good Hello, Kola. Hello. Hi. Ooh, good journey. Oh, yeah, like boy meets girl. <laughs> boy, Kosi, how are you doing? I'm well, thanks. And how are you? You're sounding so great this morning. Look, I'm about to make <laughs> your morning. No, I'm here. Hey, but you go see a little bit of excitement. Okay, cool. So you are getting double tickets to the Metro FMs tonight. Yay! Yes! No. Oh, we go show. Good to see you, man. Congratulations oh to you, man. Hopefully, you'll be a little bit more awake at the Metros. I will. I you will. will. I'm just clearing my throat now. <laughs> I'm going to be. 
Okay, cool. Thank you so much for, 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 for entering the competition. Uh, and uh, congratulations to you. And get up out of Manola. I have to do it. So do the right thing and call us. Kinako Rebba was on her hooter to La Pelmona, who's as he said, Get a rolling two bars, guys. I thought I was going to be your hype man, but you're hyping yourself even because more. Because you are so <laughs> Next on Zanzi Insider, we give you receipts on fashion on Fleek and Fifi Cooper, our special somebody. Keep the channel locked on Zanzi Insider. You know what it is, Zanzi Insider. Welcome back. We've seen many celebs get blessed or bless themselves with really beautiful fashion pieces that don't come cheap. And this is our Mzansi Insider Fashion Price Tag Roundup. DJ Zinte celebrated her birthday and her boyfriend, aka Mr. Bund, gifted her with a luxury bag. Intro price? A whooping 35,307 rand and 47 cents. Imali. Imali Eningi. Imali Enkulu. That's somebody's paycheck. That's somebody's. Like, yeah, that's like... Yeah, well, you need to read the next celebrity. Oh, my God. Bonang got a Christmas <laughs> gift from AKA, all right, uh, a limited luxury edition bag. And uh, how much do you think it cost? Enterprise? 51,000 rand. Guys, 51,000. Yo. Kima Hardy. Well, Banan was dumped on social media by her bae, a.k.a. But then he decided to give her an apology gift, which was another luxury bag. Intro price? Slightly less than the first one. 49,000 rand! So, like, anything less than... 20,000. 20, yeah, 20, you can't go less than no, 30. No, 20, we're not even. 40. Yeah. No, but there's 35, so like, yeah. Anyway, Ndanta, all the way from my fake Zola, got a lovely Christmas gift from her hubby. Uh, it was a pair of red bottoms. Uh, how much do you think it costed? Intro price. 50,000 rand dollars. Yo, guys. Yo, that's real money. And this one is a more one-on-one -on -one type. You'll understand. <laughs> so Vizzy gifted himself another piece to his collection. Mm -hmm. um, it's a suitcase, and you can see it. Intro price. <laughs> 70,000 randellers. It's so funny how the one who gifted themselves actually had the most. But I love what this thing says. It says another added to, an, to meaning his collection. To his collection. All right. Anyway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Rory Two Bars is going to go get ready for her performance. Mm -hmm. but, but before, before we I do, do that, that, we're going to take I a I need call to give somebody some tickets. <laughs> What's up? How are you doing? Hey, how are you guys? Fine, thank you. Oh, you got to give us a little bit more energy than that. What's up? Uh, I'm going yourself. I mean, we're nice out here on a beautiful Saturday afternoon, morning. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. That's right. It's so, okay. Charles, you know that you entered the competition on social media, right? Not too sure, yep, yeah? I did. You yes, did. you did. Well, congratulations. You've won yourself tickets to the Metro FM Awards that <laughs> are happening <laughs> tonight. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. this moment, <laughs> Got you, brother. Awesome, I, awesome. Well, right now, though, it is time for us to head on to special somebody while Rory Two Bars gets ready to a performance. Roll it! Right, so social media was ablaze with the news of Aries, Fifi Cooper, and Benchmark leaving ambitious records. But where it is, MT will not be leaving. Aries released a single called Loyal, where he speaks about how they earn less than 20K, Benchmark being pulled back, how they don't know where their awards are, uh, Amanda Black still hasn't received her plaques, and it seems that the PR have bought cars for themselves with what is called the artist's money. Fifi Cooper joins us to unpack and speak about the future. Fifster. What it is? I'm nice, I'm nice. 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 First things first, I want to understand how did you leave Ambitious and why? 
Um, I've always wanted to have my own record label at some point. Nice. You know, because me as a female rapper, it's more difficult for me. It, you know, it's a male-dominated genre, so females have to work twice as hard as the guys to prove that they can actually really do this, you know. Mm. So it was part of my plans. And, uh, you know, I think like God is leading me. I, I, it came soon. I thought maybe I'll do it, maybe come my 2020, but you uh, never know how things go, you know. Um, I wasn't happy with, you know, my finances. Um, that's the reason why I decided to leave Ambitious because I have a child. So when I'm here hustling in Joburg, I need to make the money so I can be able to raise my child, you know. So in two years, I was not I was not moving financially. That's why I decided that, you know, I think it's time for me to try something else. I mean, anybody in the world, if you work hard for two years and you don't see improvement, mm. you you you're gonna move on and try something else because it means that that you've been trying is not working. You know. So do you feel like with the amount of work that you put in, you should be on a higher level? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely, not definitely, happen. definitely, yeah, definitely, hundred percent. All right, now you opened up the show with Power of Gold. Yeah. And you speak about every thing in the song. It actually is such a full song with uh, the content of your life. Tell yeah. me a bit more about the track. You know, it's funny how people don't even know that um, that's a song that I recorded last year because my financial problem at Ambitious has been ever since, you know, I started. Like, questions like royalties, like performance money. Ever since I got there, I've never been, you know, gotten like performance one and I've been there since 2015 you know so when I ask these questions you know I'm being a diva so I was not supposed to ask questions you yeah, know yeah. so I wrote the song last year um, I just um, finished it after this whole mess obviously just to clear the air and just to explain to my fans what's exactly go what's going on because there were different sides of stories Absolutely. you know Tabloids. people were, were saying we take drugs we take no yeah. no you know so i just had to you know tell fifi nation what's really going on and yeah so you are not on drugs fifi like why would i be on drugs it's all a lie yes it's a lie okay what can we expect from your record label and the album coming up now as an independent artist all the money comes to you shapai you get it all, 100%. I'm going to be buying those bags as well, yes, man. Yes, you, know? you know what I'm saying? That 51K bag I'm coming You're for. You're going to be your own player. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about what we can expect from you. Um, from the album, definitely, I want to win my fans back. I want people not to be confused. I'm not a trap queen. Okay. I'm Motswako's first lady. And it's the fight. It's one of the things that made me leave also because they wanted me to change my music. I am a Motoko fan, like I am a Motoko sister, so I will never change. I will just fuse Motoko with whatever that's nice. happening. If it's trap, I'll fuse it with Motoko, but I will never lose that's what dope. I am, you know. So my album, um, the name is going to come out soon. I have the title already. It's just that I'm not ready to we'll tell people as yet. We'll just be on standby. I will we know come we'll here be on and tell you. I know you also wanted to be a presenter. Yes, We're yes. giving away tickets on today's show, so say hi to our caller. Hey, yo, what's up, caller? Hello. Hello. How, How are you? I'm okay, yourself. I'm good. You're speaking to Fifi Cooper. You should be excited. Yay! She's see. a Metro you, FM winner. Do you really want those tickets, girl? Sorry? Do you really want those tickets? Very ready. Okay, <laughs> give me one song by Fifi Cooper. Oh yes. yes! Oh yes! You so got congratulations! It, you you got win your it. tickets to the Metro FM Awards. <laughs> Shout out. And do keep it locked to Mzanti Insider because we have a whole lot more action coming up. Fifi Cooper, ladies and gentlemen. Keep the channel locked on Mzanti Insider. You know what it is, Mzanti Insider. Welcome. The shade, the drama, and all the conversations happen on social media. So do best and cover the combo on our social media, Zanti Insider on Facebook, Insta, and Twitter. Welcome back. That is what you can expect on the show tomorrow. Still hanging with Fifi Cooper. Fifi Cooper. What it is. We're about to shut it down, right? Yeah. And I've been saying since you've left Ambitious, it's your chance to do all the things that you've wanted uh -huh. to do. Notice how I'm trying to be her squad. So we're linking to a promo of what's coming up, Xas. Okay, what's coming up tomorrow? Yes. Okay, cool. So link. Oh, so you ready? So we are about to show you what's going to be happening tomorrow. So I hope you guys are ready. Check it out. My ex-girlfriend of two years. I hear that the girl is dating my friends now. The common rule is that I shouldn't date your friend's ex. 
Olive Mdebele is one of the brains behind one of South Africa's biggest malls. We've got shares in about 10 malls wow. and growing, so we'll be purchasing others. Surviving an accident can be one of the hardest things for one to go through. He didn't even stop to come and look at me. You heard it, catch an all-new Mzansi Insider Saturdays and Sundays at 10 a.m. on SAPC One. Here's again in Aslindela, it's been said to success. So right now though, Rory Two Bars is on Ooh. standby. And she's been learning a Ooh. lot from you. And I've been, I bet you've been learning a lot from her in the presenting yeah, game. Yeah, 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 So for now sure. you're going to link to her performance and we're saying goodbye to everybody at home. Oh, South Africa, I hope you guys are ready because we got the baddest girl about to do her thing. Rory, take it away. Woo, we out of here, baby. What's up, y'all? Rory Two Bars. Out here like a rapping, not me. Here we go. Roll top. Do it like Laura. Sprinkle some voodoo, you can't do what I do. You think you're mad cool. Walking around acting like Badu. Hey, I got the real juice. Rivers are flowing and let loose. Look you think you come, come through. through. Step up to me like we're old school. Last summer. Some stories about you doing better. This summer coming up just a little bitter. Man, cause you're living up for someone else's dream. Hey. Life is a blessing. Never, Never a breeze. breeze. Hey. You think you're all that? I know I'm all this. But your you rhymes are a catalyst for all the balloons missed. Hey. Who do you know? Chiss. Your friend of the netting's is stunning the flows. Now look at me go. Who do you know? Who do you know? I want to rap for this one. You thought I was here for you. You thought you and I were cool. But really, you never knew. That was, was never my goon. Real talk, we ain't cool. You got to be kidding me, die. You're mad because you're mad at me, die. You're mad because you're failing me, die. You're mad because you can be me, die. You can be me, die. Last summer tell me so it's but you doing better This summer tell me enough to a little better Man, cause you live enough for someone else's dream Life is a bliss, never a breeze You wait on me Hey, like the watchman, wait on him You can keep game coming around You can quit time down and sit in around, yeah Who do you know? Hey My special genetics be standing in first Now look at me go Tell me, look at me go Hey Who do you know? Who do you know? My spell don't you know? Who do you know? Who do you know? You gotta wait out. What? Be stunning them foes, not look at me go. Tell them get off the boat. Hey, who do you know? Who do you know? Hey, who do you know? Who do you know? Roar two bars. They were never ready for me. Fifi, I'm coming for your spot. Nadia, Muesli, I see ya. Who's the other one? <laughs>